Hey, and uh, welcome to my first vlog. I uh, just wanted to do something a little different with this. Um, I've been really enjoying doing videos, and uh, I really sort of feel I need need a script to talk to. Um, even though it's a very loose script, I still have to write out the points I want to get across, otherwise I'll just waffle forever. Um, but with the vlog, I just thought it'd be a nice way to do something a bit more casual, a bit less preachy. Um, I try not to be preachy about the slow fashion, but the videos are there to help people sort of change consumption and think about things differently. Whereas with the vlog, I just want to focus a bit more on my life and things I do at home, still use it as a way to practice photography and videography and get better at those, but ultimately not overthink the production elements and the lighting and whether it looks good enough for a YouTube channel, like just just something a bit more casual, a bit more homely. Um, I had quite a few people asking to see more of the uh, the house where Holly and I live in Sheffield at the moment. Um, it's got some great features in it. Uh, not sure I want to show all of the house, so probably not going to be doing a house tour or anything. Um, but. I have collected a few nice bits of furniture and nice little bits of art and ceramics over the years. So I'd love to showcase those in the same way that I do clothes makers. Um, hopefully help you find some nice homewares and things too. Uh, if you want to see more of the homewares stuff, do let me know. I know this always sounds a bit scripted saying, oh, let me know in the comments, but <laughs> generally like that's where we can chat. So if you just jump in the comments and uh, let me know what you want to see more of, then I can certainly make those videos or at least think about it. Just gonna pop out and grab my mum some flowers for Sunday. Uh, thought I'd show you a quick outfit. So, got my new Dawson denim jeans. Uh, paired up with the Noble and Wileys. Oh, hey Maggie. Okay, hun. Mm, you bet. Uh, and just blowing everyone's mind with blue jeans and a white t-shirt. Don't think that's ever been done before. And then uh, just this uh, K-Born, if you can see, sort of K-Born linen overshirt. These lovely little wooden buttons. This one's a vintage piece, no idea where from. Oh, and a little leather bag for my keys. There you go, that's a full look. Little bit of post. Um, been wanting a, if you can see, wanting to get a steamer for ages. Um, and I keep looking at the Stockholm ones just because they look nice. Um, and then every other steamer, you, Maggie, sorry, <laughs> every other steamer you look at is just absolutely horrible. Like looks really nasty and cheap, and I'm sure all of them are. But I saw this one. Yeah. <laughs> 
I found this one on eBay, of all places. Um, did a bit of research and couldn't find much else about it other than the fact that it is a Korean brand. Um, but it was a quarter of the price of one of the steamery ones. And it looks... Really smart. Uh, so I think. What's that? What is it? Yeah, so it looks really nice and smart. Um, no idea if it's any good. Uh, I will do a test and a review and let you all know. the best thing I've ever done. my first unboxing. I think this is my first unboxing video. <laughs> Just like YouTube bingo. Oh, that's nice. heading out for a walk. Uh, I think we're gonna go to Mam Tor. Uh, so I thought I'd do a quick once over of a little outfit I wear for walking in. Got the Danners, obviously. Don't wear it without them. Usky's trousers on the bottom. These are just really nice grey chinos, but I've just chatted about Usky's before and they're like really repairable and not to not to worry about them too much if they get damaged or filthy. Another one from Usky's, the little smock over the top. And then the Cabon Parker for a bit of weatherproofing. Um, and then I don't know if you can see it in the mirror. I've got the Corley wind cheater on, which is just kind of a little Shetland wool neck cover, um, which I love. Helps me stay cool but keep the wind off. Uh, and then probably going to round it off with my little bobble. Keep nice and warm. Got a uh, lovely looking nutritious packed lunch here.
pal just uh, gave me a heads up that in the Financial Times weekend issue, in the uh, how to spend it section, you know, the glossy bit, uh, there is an article on Margaret Howell featuring Fergus and Margot Henderson, which seems to be where most of my interests intersect. Um, I think the article's called, is it, Margaret Howell Superfans, so I'm kind of slightly miffed I'm not in it, but yeah, it's um, it's actually really great, there's loads of like interesting little tidbits about the history um, and the sort of the people that were wearing her clothes in the 70s and sort of what was interesting there, but the things Fergus and Margot say are just absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm really impressed with this little thing. Uh, I've never owned a steamer before. Um, I haven't had an iron for years um, since my last one broke. M most of my shirts are linen and I've always felt that they actually they look fine with the creases in. I enjoy the creased linen. Um, I don't wear crisp white dress shirts to an office or anything so I've never actually I've actually felt I needed a nine, but like I said, I picked this up really cheap on eBay. If I if I can find where they're available, I'll uh, definitely put the link in the description. Um, I mean, it looks it looks like it's something that they would design and sell for Muji, but apparently Muji don't do a garment steamer, so that's that theory out the window. You know, the steamery Stockholm ones look look good and that is important like if you're if you're anything like me then you do value design and you do value aesthetics and if you look at garment steamers all around they are they all look fairly nasty they're not well designed products i mean it's not something you're going to have out on display i know but still can't compare it to any other steamer but i've done a few garments with it i've got some creases out of some linen shirts i've pressed a couple of collars um so yeah, I think I am now officially Team Steam. I'm gonna, uh, just getting set up to film a video today uh, to come out next Sunday, which will be the um, sort of buying new things in slow fashion. Uh, we talk a lot about slowing down consumption and not buying unnecessary things but personally I still find a lot of joy in buying nice things from small makers so I want to talk a bit about that and um, the main goal with my channel I think is to to showcase alternatives to fast fashion as well as the ways that we can do it better um, so yeah small makers are a big thing for me um, so just don't know if you can see probably won't focus too well unless I go out of frame. There we go. Just getting um, getting this set up, uh, which unfortunately means that because Holly's bits are the ones closest to the window, so all her lovely clothes are currently just uh, on the bed. I spent pretty much all day today filming. We went for a run this morning and then I got home and I started setting up to film. And since then I've just been shooting for my next video um which i was hoping to get out this coming sunday um but anyway yeah about seven hours of just faffing and shooting and i've gone to pull all the footage into the computer and there is a horrific buzz on every single shot um i think it might be something to do with the monitor i've been using because um, it's the only thing that's new since my last couple of videos uh, just so I can sort of see myself whilst I'm filming uh, I've not got it in now so hopefully the audio's okay but um, yeah so I mean, there's a lot of usable stuff the uh, sort of slow motion shots and secondary shots and close-ups and everything are fine but the uh, the main bulk of me talking to camera is pretty much useless um, so I'll redo that tomorrow, but I was hoping to get a lot more shots tomorrow afternoon after I finish work. 
um, just to pad out the video. So that's gonna put me a day behind. And then I should be able to get it out for Sunday. It's just annoying, but yeah, probably just gonna go have a glass of wine now, watch a couple of episodes of Buffy. Disappointing end to the vlog. Uh, <laughs> I wish I could leave you with a nice uplifting message, but uh, yeah, sometimes things go wrong. Um, I'm not gonna be vlogging every week. Um, probably just if there's a weekend coming up where I think there's something quite exciting, I'll start doing it. But I hope you enjoyed this other than the uh, disappointing end. And um, yeah, if you wanna see more vlogs, if you wanna see anything in particular in the vlogs over a weekend, then let me know in the comments as usual. Um, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, hopefully, hopefully Sunday, new video will be out. Um, if not, then I'll see you in the next vlog, I guess. Bye.